Yo, 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 what is Hello up, everyone? Man? Ooh. Today we're gonna be reacting to some good old a daily dose of internet, guys. So let's get right into it, guys. He just posted. We won't react to the next one. And this one, is but... your daily dose of internet. This guy wanted to show how windy it was. Your daily dose in of New Zealand. Internet. Oh snap. Bro. Okay, that's fairly scary, man. That would eliminate, like, some wildlife just because of how violently windy it is, right, guys? How do birds even survive there, guys? Dude, it just went... Oh my gosh, bro. That's not, that's now a, a, a health hazard, bro. Like, where is that gonna fall, you know what I mean? Dude, that, that thing is gone. And he's awfully close to the ledge there, but thankfully, you know, that's scary, bro. It, with how windy it is, I'd be scared if, uh, you know, it, it like pushed me into the water, bro. <laughs> <laughs> drunk goat? What goat? A drunk goat. A drunk goat. Yeah? yeah? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it, because they have like a... A beard, right? <laughs> now, does anyone be super cool with that, like that, with your waiter, guys? Oh, shit. Oh, oh snap! He's got skills, bro. This bear, guys. I never got good at skating, bro. All my friends are better than me. That was like my worst skill ever, bro. I was like, dang, bro. I think I'm gonna stick to gaming. I thought it would be a good idea to turn around and leave after finding out that bears live here. Dude, it just walked. There's a picture of a bear and everything, guys. You think he saw it? It was like, okay, that's reserved for me. Hey bear. <laughs> yeah, to the moon, to the moon. Guys, bear, white bears being. I keep seeing videos of bears being like kind of friendly. I mean, not super friendly. It's not like he's petting it or anything, but. <laughs> oh, yo, yo. <laughs> this guy was. Yeah, he's got the cushion and the skills, bro tired of always forgetting his wallet, so he got a microchip planted in his hand that allows him to pay for everything. Doesn't work. Oh, there we go. How, how do you do it? Magic. Huh? Magic. Oh, magic. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, bro, they have the vapes just chilling. Uh, they, hopefully we're past that, man, because, you know, paying for things is better. Yeah, no, don't, don't steal. Uh, if you steal, you're, they will put you on TikTok, guys. No, that's not the good thing. So they, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry. N no one do that, bro. Not cool. <laughs> this cow had a visit. I get it. I get it. To get some work done on her foot, and she was so scared that she started a whimper. Well, we're gonna fix your, get your foot fixed. I know. You hurt your foot. We're gonna get it fixed. And you're just scared. I know, babe. Oh man. Don't you know what happens? Like, some of these cows will, uh, you know, have some bad things happen to them, you know? He's right here with you, okay? A few years Poor ago, thing. there was an earthquake in Mexico that shook the boats on this river. <coughs> wow. Wow. Well, that is a huge earthquake then. It'd be scary to be in those waters when that happens as well, bro. You know what I mean? Water is very powerful. What's that? Got some frogs. <laughs> There's a law in Ontario, Canada that makes it illegal to remove or destroy trillium flowers and you will be fined $500 if you do so. However, there is no law stating that you can't plant these flowers in public spaces. So, this guy started planting these flowers in the most random and annoying places possible. If some There's no one to know uh, that law. <laughs> Somebody 
No, 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 that law exists, guys. I don't know what... I couldn't tell unless it was, like, blooming or something, guys. This guy is setting up crimes and Said stuff. Said Ezra Gray, come with me. I have... Like, a, a car would run that over. That was in the middle of the street, planted Puppies it. Puppies in my truck, what would you say? I would say yes. <laughs> this guy made the slowest moving set of gears ever. In order to get the last gear to make one full rotation, you need to turn the first gear a Google amount of times around. That number is bigger than the amount of atoms in the number. Did you say a Google amount of times around? Well, actually, with how many gears there are. In the universe. Hey, wait. Yeah, it makes sense, you know what I mean? There, That is a lot of gears, and there you are. Moving really slow. I have a piece of honey bun for you. Oh, oh yeah, I think we've seen this one. Will you take it? <laughs> oh snap. Now that is clean, that is clean, dude. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh, come on. Why did- No. Poor guy, poor guy. Did he sleep through that? What Nobody the? tell me that geckos can make noises. Most little animals- Like, we just re watched a video where somebody puts a microphone to animals, so... Hey. Not- It is true, it is true. <laughs> Don't you wish they could, uh, you know, be the smaller size, like puppies, all the time? Is that you could actually it'd be easier to keep it as a pet, right? Less poop to deal with. <laughs> yeah, what the? <laughs> Yeah, it looks like Arkansas are one of those states. <laughs> oh snap, oh snap. Got the dog right the wiener dog. Okay, that's just too windy, bro. It's summer, man. How are these videos getting filmed? Today is my last day in Norway, so I wanted to show you two really cool things I saw. Norwegian supermarkets have a machine where you can place your plastic bottles to be recycled. When you recycle it, you have the option to either receive money or play the lottery. Every bottle you place in there is like buying a lottery ticket. The other cool thing is that <laughs> you can play the lottery with it. They're the... so good at building tunnels that they can build massive roundabouts underneath their mountains. That is the end of this video. Oh, fine. We were just talking about the in the Japan video if uh about like uh, potential underground tunnels and stuff, dude. That's cool. I didn't. Or you hope you enjoyed, and I'll. Yeah, they don't have, they might not have it in Japan, but they got it in Norway. Is that CCC CCTV? Do you guys get again very very. But that is cool, bro. The guy taking care of the cow, we need more people like that. As a New Zealander, I can confirm it gets mega windy here. Also rainy, sunny, and cold. So, sometimes all in one day. Yeah, that's all fine. As a gecko owner, I can confirm they make noise. But typically they tell you to stop messing with them. Or It's to, it's to tell you to stop messing with them. Oh, man. For those wondering, the cow's on the mend and starting to put weight on her foot. She'll be fully healed soon. As a New Zealander, I can confirm. Okay, yeah, we read one like one like that. That bear wasn't ready to be social. That grizzly is actually a famous bear named Seven, named Bear Seven Four Seven. He's used to very used to humans and one of the many, many champions of fat bear week. What the heck is that? The bottle recycling thing is also in Finland and Estonia. It's so simple and ingrained in people's habits to recycle. It baffles me when I see bottle Guys, I got one of those machines where I live, guys. Where you just put up bottles in like that. It's not... But, but if you could play the lottery with it, that's something interesting. Alright, guys. Peace out, everyone. See you guys next one.